Welcome, everyone. Turtle Soup Podcast, Channel Ooh. 6 to Midnight News. I'm Eric Crosby. Time. And I'm Ryan Guy. And uh, our top story tonight, guys, we have some stuff to talk about. We have NECA and the Floosh did an interview a while back with uh, NECA's own Trevor Zammett. And he was laying out all this stuff. I think it happened around December, January, December, somewhere at the beginning and end of the last year. And uh, he was talking about all this stuff. And there were dropping hints that none other than Judith Hogue herself, April O'Neil from movie one, would be the the inspiration, I guess, or somehow, I forget the wording that they used, but nevertheless, the, the, the idea was was that if you thought if you were wondering where the Universal Monsters Turtles line was, like in the in the I guess the canon of NECA's collection toy collection, uh, like if it was its own thing or if it was part of something else, they kind of were dropping the hints that it's definitely a part of the movie line, and that Judith Hogue would be the April O'Neil. Judith Hogue as April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. And so we did a video about it and we talked about it. And we had our art department, in fact, uh, draw up a, uh, a composite of what it could look like. And uh, I believe this is what they came up with. And uh, to be honest, I think it's a pretty, it's pretty close. I mean, it, it, there's some differences, subtle differences. But for the most part, from what we are about to show you, it, it it's pretty spot on. So we're really proud of our art team for pu pulling that together uh, last minute. But you know, so uh, now NECA, though, after all these months of speculation and wonder and concern and prayers and everything, they have finally heard all of our outcries wanting to know, like, when are we going to see? Because they've, they've revealed everything else. They showed uh, Leo as the uh, hunchback um, and then they showed uh, Raph as which is already out Raph as um, uh, Frankenstein and or Frankenstein's monster, excuse me, and Mikey will be the mummy. But they showed April in silhouette. Well, no longer. This April, Judith Hogue got on to her social media, and I think she took over NECA's as well. And they said that basically, hey, here it is. I'm going to be this, and here's the thing. And they showed what NECA's been using the last few times for their reveals, which were the uh, stop motion, really awesome stop motion commercials for these things. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out on their uh, Instagram account. And uh, they're really neat. And they showed, they, they revealed the figure in full. And it's really awesome. And so definitely go check that out. But we managed to get a uh, screen cap from um, the website toyarc.com, another really good resource for uh, toy news and everything like that. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at that right now. So let's see what we got here. We have Miss Judith Hogue as April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. And this looks way better than what our art department came up with uh but still not too far off now this figure is pretty rad it's essentially I, I i don't know anything else about it they haven't put out the actual press release yet letting you know all the different stuff but from what we can gather here she's definitely going to come with a metal chain purse that has a lock on it and uh she's got she's done up as uh as you can see the bride of frankenstein she has a scepter that's also sort of like a uh an old an, like an old school microphone uh that you would see like a broadcast microphone uh that says wtrl on it you know for turtle and uh yeah then if we uh move down we can see that she does come with an, another set of hands so she has two open two uh two gripping she comes with two rats uh one of them looks like it has an ear on it maybe i'm mistaken or something it's very strange and she also comes with a uh, separate head featuring a different facial expression and then the last thing she comes with uh as far as we can tell from what's shown here is uh one of Raphael's lightning bolt size in case that she's late for her sony payment again and gets caught in the subway you know so uh so yeah so that is the reveal and they said that there's going to be a pr an official press release coming soon but that's what we're looking at as far as uh uh, you know, what we're going to get with this figure for what we can tell now. Um, so yeah. So Ryan, what are you thinking about this? Because, you know, like you may recall last time we talked about this, you know, we, we, we brought up some issues with her knees, the, uh, the April O'Neil figure oh, yeah. that, uh, the, uh, from the movie one that her knees were a little strange. Yeah. And now granted, we, we even said on the, when we addressed it, that we know that making action figures like, like, like the, the fleshy parts, 
can be difficult, especially yeah. if it's on an articulation yeah. joint. So, what do you think yes. about this figure? Is you know, right off the dome, what's your what are your we, thoughts? We inadvertently ruined uh, that April O'Neil, unfortunately, for one of our uh, Trinitarians. Yeah. I am, I am very, I am still upset about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a little of that. Like now, you know, a little of that that uh, eight millimeter. You know, you can't, you can't. Uh, what you've seen, you can't unsee. A situation right. that we dropped uh, uh, on our on our unfortunate uh, listener. Um, I I think that they look good here. Um, I think that the 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 makeup of April in general, just as the Brian Frankenstein, it, it detracts a lot away because the whole thing, and this is very important, she's not supposed to be a normal human. Right, right. So anything you see with the knees and anything you see with articulation, I mean, like, she's not just a straight human. Like, they're not just going for straight, like, flesh-colored mm-hmm. stuff, right? She has right. more of that pale look. So I think that that automatically makes it look way better in my opinion absolutely and i agree I, I the one thing i wish they would have done is around the knees maybe thrown on some um some stitching which they have it above like on the upper yeah. thighs but yeah, if they yeah, would have had yeah. the stitches there that would have really added to that and made it up but now i think they no oh, no i'm looking at it now no that's just the um the leg still i thought they had lowered her uh her pants but i think what they are is just wrappings like, like almost like mummy wrappings. Yeah. And so they look yeah. like kind of like mummy capris. And uh, yeah, I thought they were a lot longer, but apparently no, that's still her legs. So, but again, this is a, a screen yeah. cap from a, a, a live uh, sure. a motion commercial. And uh, so, yeah, they're going to be sending out like, like high res stuff pretty soon and more details. But, uh, but yeah, but what do y'all think? We want to know, do you like this figure? Yeah, are you going to get it? Are you going to have her on your shelf? Like, are you a fan of them including this in the movie line? And I want to know what other lines would you want to see the movie line specifically cross over with? That's what we want to know. Let us know in the comments and you can email us at turtle soup show at gmail.com. Well, I'll say one thing just to tack on the very end there is that I'm a huge fan of that ribbon mic uh, scepter that she has. I oh, am, yeah. The, the vintage the vintage microphone guy in me loves that. Um, and it's so perfect for the old, like, kind of RKO Productions look of everything. Yeah. Um, and, and, yeah, I just had to kind of tack that on because I didn't get a chance to say it. I am a huge fan of that, and that was a great touch. Yeah, so I'm, it, it looks fantastic. But yeah, but let, let us know what you guys think of that. I mean, like because it's a uh, you know it, it it's a it's something that we've been yeah kind of kind of treading toward for a while, like uh, about this figure and stuff. So um, oh yeah, excited yeah. to see more shots of it. That is what I'm really excited to see. Absolutely.